Thanks for joining us after the game. The future of farming in the Commonwealth could be shaky. According to a recent survey, Virginia has lost thousands of farms in just a few years. ABC 13's Rachel Tillipaw explains why we're seeing that decline and the effect it's having locally. You can make more money growing a house than you can growing a cow. What is the future of farming in Virginia? It's a question many are asking after a recent USDA survey showed an alarming decline in the number of farms across the state. Since 2017, we've lost more than 4,000 farms. It's a problem impacting us locally, too. Bedford County lost 235 farms in the last seven years. I would, I would guesstimate probably 75% were uh, greater. Um, um, how many of those properties were or subdivisions or new properties were created in our agricultural zoning districts. Jordan Mitchell with the Bedford Community Development says many farmers are selling because of financial struggles from high inflation. But some farmers like Steve McFadden say they are a lifeline for the community. Yes, the farms and uh, forestry are the Bedford County's number one industry. McFadden says smaller farms help keep the local economy booming. And to get quality food versus having to buy it at the grocery store. And you can buy it here at the farmer's market. Agricultural experts agree farms play a vital role in our economy and need to be protected. I believe that all size farms can, can be viable and be economical. And they all contribute to the overall economic power of agriculture in Bedford, which is quite substantial. Thankfully, there are more specialty farms popping up around Bedford County recently, like flour or alpaca farms and wineries. He says even though they aren't the traditional dairy and cattle farms, they're still beneficial to the community. Back to you.